Keisha from Pink Sands and I'm super excited. We are out here doing a new series of videos for you guys. We are touring local restaurants out there. What are the hot spots in your area? Today we are on the east side at Shake and Shan's Snack Shack. I am so excited. They've got some lovely menu items. I can't wait to try. I really want to try just everything. So they're new to the east side. Um, out here in a new location. You guys come in, check it out. We've got a lot in store and a lot more coming. Stay tuned. Okay, so first question I have for you guys, I want to find out, like, what made you guys start this restaurant? Um, I'm not from Georgia, I'm from Chicago. Okay. And when I moved here, I had this food so much. And I didn't, I never wanted to eat out, ever, so I always cooked at home. And then, um, she was like, and then when, when COVID hit, I was like, okay, we got to figure out another way to make um, so, you know, I was like, I could just be, it started off small, uh -huh. like literally small, like the candy lady small. Oh wow! I had all of the Chicago candies, nachos, and everything, but then it went from let the candy go because they wanted the food. Mm -hmm. So I let the candy go and just focus on the food and just pick up the candy. Oh wow, okay, I love Chicago food. Like, so they need to bring it to the house. <laughs> But um, let me ask you this. How do y'all come with the name? I love the name. How do you come with the name? Please tell me about it. She Shan. I'm Shan. So your real name is Shan? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's so cute. Um, and I'm always saying snack. Okay. Or snack time. Or, or a little snack. And I was like, okay, snack check. Something small. Not right. Snack check. So I just said it. Shake and shake. Snack check. It's a tongue twister, but it's so yeah. cute. Shake and Shan. Snack check. Yeah. Oh, it's another snack check. Yeah, okay. and the shack part really came from the fact that we were operating from a tent. Literally a tent. Oh, wow. Literally a tent. Okay. So we consider that our shack. Yes, so I love it. It was small, and then it went from one little tent so to ten by ten. three other tents, and it was like a whole set of and I was just like, okay, now we're here. And that, and that goes to my next question. What made you choose this location? All of our um, oh, okay. customers that we built relationships with and that has demanded our food, uh -huh. they're near the care. So okay. we, we reside in Cubs. Okay. And so we were like, we need a central location. We need Decatur. Okay. We have to be a Decatur that we can reach, you know, Atlanta. We have customers in Smyrna, Douglasville, Union City. But we need a central location yeah. that where we're not stressing ourselves to travel from Right. And then they say Decatur is great. Right. There you go. Nice. And it, it's just so funny. We were, sh I mean, we were stressing so like to stress. find the location. The perfect Ooh. location. It was to the point where I said, I was like, I left the post office, mm -hmm. not once, but twice. Oh, wow. And I said, babe, I said, uh, I gotta let the post office go. I mean, the post, I, I gotta let the shack go. Uh -huh. She was like, why? I was like, because I need to, we need to find a location. And it, and it, it became really stressful coming from covers and back and forth, all and everything. Mm -hmm. And then, got to the post office, and I was like, I'm not used to listening to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want any rules. I'm not right. doing no packages. And I said, yeah, that's me. Right. And left again and just gave the shot to me. Right. Oh, no. Right. So you just gave the shot to you are. And, and the wow. day that we were like, okay, yeah. just let the post office go. We're going to have a little faith. You know, we were told, you know, us people, like, don't give up, don't give up. We had been hearing it for about a month, like, don't close it, don't close it. Like, people really enjoy your food, don't close it. So we're like, okay, we're going to have a little faith. Not even 24 hours later, we ended up with this big event, and it's been full force from that. Everything is about, we've been busy. Wow. On that That's awesome. Place. Well, you had the community and your clients and customer support. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. That's, that's awesome. So not, that's heavy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Without having a restaurant. And we right. were concerned, like, I don't want to keep tugging a refrigerator or three tanks. I literally was, had a refrigerator. I had a huge um, um, generator. And I was like, and we would literally like three cars take every time. Every time. Wow. And I was like, I can't do this. But that's dedication. It yes. was. Yes. That's exactly. dedication. Wow. 
so anything that I have forgotten to ask, if you want to let everybody know, all the viewers, what do you want to let them know about you? Um, grand opening. Um, grand opening is March 13th. It's also my birthday weekend. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to kill two birds with a stone. And okay. we're going to do a whole event. We're going to have vendors, of course, with food. We're trying to get a guest special guest here. Okay, nice. Um, and then we also have a few events coming up this month. We have the karaoke, we have taco tools, and we have Super Bowl. Um, of course, we still bring out our, we uh, bring out the events there with the guests and everything. Well, we can get an active group of space. Yes, keep yeah. 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 okay. Um, and I think that's the kind of thing, right? No? No? Um, eventually, we're going to roll out breakfast. Uh-oh, okay, nice. So, um, I've been training myself for the past few weeks to get up <laughs> So we're going to yeah. eventually um, have the Shake and Shine Snack Shack breakfast. breakfast. Okay, perfect. Um, and coffee, um, specialty coffee, yeah. specialty um, pastries, pastry. waffles, maybe a bread cake. Yeah, everything oh, homemade. Everything okay. homemade, yeah, yeah so I do that. So that being said, like, what's your like most popular item or your favorite item? Um, I think mine would be I think the snacks. I love snacks, but everybody, <laughs> <laughs> everybody else want egg rolls. They, oh, they yeah. really love the egg rolls, particular uh, like the, the the main one mm -hmm. is um, the salmon and buffalo chicken. Okay. So that's the one they always. Can I get buffalo chicken and salmon? And then also we have uh, this punch. It's called purple punch. Oh. It comes in four different flavors. And we had a customer she wanted like thirty five, thirty six of them. Wow. And I had to deliver to it. And I was like, Wow, these people got some crazy. They love it. And we just go ahead and do it. Oh, <laughs> nice. That's why you have a lot of popular items. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And for me, I would say, I would say the wings. The wings. And the tenders. Yeah. yeah. It's the. <laughs> So, you know, you have other, you know, chicken, you know, restaurants around, but I think that what sets us aside is our seasoning, mm. our secret seasoning and blend. So y'all got a secret sauce. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So I think the seasoning that we put on the chicken uh -huh. um, wins everyone over. Nice. Well, I can't wait to taste something too. So I'm excited. <laughs> Come check it out. If you guys want to be featured 